Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And this short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with confidence intervals, uh, and in particular, a conf gender generation of a confidence interval for a single, for a single population, population mean, okay, uh, is what we're going to concentrate on uh, in this particular video. Uh, I have a particular scenario here that we're going to concentrate on and let me just maybe run through the scenario just to set the scene. A random sample of 65 recently qualified accountants showed they had an average starting salary of 55,000 euros. Okay? The standard deviation of the sample was 15,000 euros and what we're being asked to do is to construct a 95% confidence interval for the average income of recently qualified accountants. Now, let's just keep in mind is that what we have is a sample of 65 recently qualified accountants. Okay? We do know the sample mean is 55,000 and we, knew that we do know the sample standard deviation is 15,000. But these 65, this, these 65 recently qualified accountants have been drawn from a larger population. Now, that larger population has a mean value and has an average salary, starting salary for recently qualified accountants. Now, what we'd like to be able to do is we'd like to be able to bound that particular average salary, the population average salary, the population mean, uh, below and above, uh, in a way that we're 95% confident that the true population mean will be within that range. Uh, now there's two ways to do this, okay? Uh, the first way, we've got two formulas. The first formula, and this is what, the, the same way as we did it in our previous video, uh, is that if we know the population standard deviation, so if the population standard deviation, deviation is known, okay? Key word here is known, we know it, okay? The formula that we rely upon is x bar minus z times x times sigma over the square root of n is less than the mean is less than x bar plus z times sigma over the square root of n, okay? So what it's saying here is this, if you know the population standard deviation, okay, the, the confidence interval that you need to construct is based off a z distribution, okay, in which case we have to calculate the appropriate z values. Okay? So to actually construct this particular confidence, in, uh, confidence interval, there's, a piece of, uh, there's pieces of information that we require. We need to know the sample mean. Okay? We need to know the appropriate Z statistic that goes along with this particular confidence interval. We need to know in both cases on either side, we need to know the population standard deviation. And we also need to know the sample size. Uh, that's one formula. Okay? But the key thing here is to use this formula, you need to know the population standard deviation. The alternative is when the population, when the population standard deviation, so when the population standard deviation okay, is unknown, so when we don't know it, okay? So when it's unknown, we rely upon the T distribution. And the formula is quite similar. All that's changing is that, well, we don't know the population standard deviation, okay? And what's also changing is that we're going to model it based off a T distribution. So the formula is X bar minus T times S over the square root of N must be less than the population mean, which must be less than X bar plus T of S over the square root of N. This is the formula that we're going to rely upon in this particular scenario, okay? So this particular scenario, and let's actually see why we're actually relying upon this formula, okay? So let's have a look at our scenario and let's extract out all the information. So we have a random sample of 65 recently qualified accountants. So the sample size is equal to 65, okay? And we know that their average salary was 55,000 euros. So that means that the sample mean is equal to 55,000 euros, 55,000. And also the standard deviation of the sample was 15,000. So S is equal to 15,000. Okay? And what we need to construct is we need to construct a 95% confidence interval. So the size of the confidence interval is equal to 95%. The key thing here is that we don't know the population standard deviation. Okay? We know the sample standard deviation and as such we cannot rely upon this formula here and we're going to concentrate on the one that's based off its student's t distribution. Okay, So we know all the information. We know x bar, we know, we know s, we know n in both cases. The only thing that's missing is this t value. So we have to calculate the appropriate t value that goes along with an interval of size 95%. Okay? So to calculate the appropriate, the appropriate, the appropriate t value that we require. Okay? Well, let's just keep in mind that the t distribution is a symmetrical distribution. So let's just draw the distribution itself. It's a symmetrical distribution. Okay? Here's our t distribution. 
Okay? And what we'd like to get centered on zero, we'd like to construct a 95% confidence interval. That means that 95% of the area needs to be between two, two values. We call this T1 and we call this T2 here. So if 95% of the area is between these two values, well then that means, I think this is a logical argument here to put forward, that means that the totality of the area, the totality of the area in the tails must be 5%.